Today, I wanted to just really hit on something. Dealing with pain. I asked my mom one day, I said, Mom, I said, would you buy me a deck of cards? She says, Junior, I don't gamble in my house. Ain't no cards coming in my house. I said, Mom, I don't need them for gambling. I don't want them for gambling. I just need a deck of cards, Mom. My mom, for years, from the time I was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I've never saw a woman take so much physical abuse than the way I've seen my mother be every freaking day of my life. But I can't help her because I'm not strong enough. I don't have the muscle to get these men off my mother. My mother's a very high yellow woman and every time they hit her, she would bleed from her eyes. She would walk around for days with sunglasses on in the house. I said, Ma, I need a deck of cards. Last altercation we got in, my stepfather hit my mom so hard in the face. My stepfather hit my mom so hard in the face, I called her. And I looked at him with this rage and this pain in my eyes. One day, one day, and I took this deck of cards. I couldn't live in the house, so I had to live in the garage. And after this last altercation we had with this guy, I ran to my garage and I grabbed this deck of cards and I flipped the seven. And I started doing seven push-ups. I flipped the six, I did six. I flipped the nine, I did nine. I flipped the two, I did two. I flipped another nine, I did nine. Until I got all the way through the deck. Jack, Queen, King, Rope, 10. Aces, 25s, and Jokers, 50. Until I got sick and tired of what pain felt like in my gut. It didn't even matter to me. Because I started shuffling them all over again, and that's when I started doing my sit-ups. Because I wanted to make sure sports wasn't the reason why I started training. It was to make sure a man never put his hands on me. And I told my mama, no pain, no pain will ever stop me from taking care of you and my brothers and sisters. Out of the night that covers me, Black as the pitch from pole to pole. I think whatever God there may be, for my uncomfortable soul. The fellow collective circumstance, I have not cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of fate, my head is bloody, but I'm proud. Beyond this place of wrath and tears, the looms but the shadow of the shade. Yet the menace of the years lies and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how punishment charged this road. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my son. Let me tell you about a voice. The one that whispers. It tells me what's right and what's not. 
when to leave and where to go. It's not Shakespeare. It does not speak in memorable lines. My inner voice always gives it to me straight.